All right, let's dive right into our first topic. Understanding the principles and concepts of green home design. So what does green home design mean? Well, it's all about designing and constructing homes in a way that reduces their environmental impact and enhances the health and comfort of the occupants. One of the key principles of green home design is the use of renewable materials. <clears throat> it's about choosing materials that are sustainable and have a low impact on the environment. This might mean using locally sourced timber, bamboo, or even recycled materials. For example, reclaimed wood can add a lot of character to a home, and it's a great way to reduce waste. Another principle is creating energy efficient structures. This goes beyond just installing solar panels on the roof, although that's certainly part of it. It's about designing the home itself to be energy efficient. This might involve things like proper insulation to reduce heating and cooling needs using energy efficient appliances and light fixtures and designing the home to take advantage of natural sunlight for heating and lighting. In fact, the orientation of the house itself can play a big part in this. For instance, in the Northern Hemisphere, a house with lots of windows on the south side can get a lot of free heat from the sun during the winter. <sighs> Amazing. How much difference some thoughtful design can make. But remember, green home design isn't just about the house itself. It's also about how the home fits into its environment. A truly green home should blend seamlessly with its surroundings, minimize disruption to the local ecosystem, and even contribute positively to it. This might mean using landscaping that supports local wildlife, or incorporating a green roof or garden to help manage storm water. So there you have it. Green home design is all about sustainability energy efficiency, and harmony with nature. It's a fascinating field, and one that's becoming more and more important as we look for ways to reduce our impact on the environment. Now let's move on to our next topic, renewable energy technologies. <laughs> but that's a discussion for another moment. All right, let's dive into our next topic different types of renewable energy technologies that can be incorporated into a green home design. First up, we have solar panels. Now, these are probably what most people think of when they hear the term renewable energy, and for good reason. Solar panels are a fantastic way to harness the sun's energy. They can be installed on roofs or in yards and can provide a significant amount of a home's electricity needs. Plus, with net metering, you might even be able to sell excess electricity back to the grid. Imagine that. Your house not only powering itself, but also contributing to the grid, regardless of that symbol. <laughs> Next, we have wind turbines. Well, you might be picturing those huge wind farms Residential wind turbines are much smaller and can be a viable option, especially for homes in windy areas. Wind turbines convert the energy of the wind into electricity, which can then be used in the home. Then there's geothermal energy. This technology uses the steady temperature of the earth below the surface to heat and cool homes. It's incredibly efficient, but the installation can be a bit more involved. Still, it's definitely worth considering if you're building a new home or doing major renovations. There's also the option of using a heat pump. These devices move heat rather than generating it, making them highly efficient. They can pull heat from the air or ground and use it to heat your home. And in the summer, they can do the opposite, pulling heat from your home and releasing it outside to keep you cool. And let's not forget about biomass. This involves using organic material, like wood pellets, to provide heat. Modern wood-burning stoves are surprisingly efficient 
and can be a great option in areas with plenty of wood resources. Particularly, each of these technologies has its own strengths and considerations, and the best choice will depend on your specific situation, local climate, and available resources. But the important thing is that there are options. This, with the right combination of technologies, it's entirely possible to create a home that's not only comfortable and beautiful, but also powered by clean, renewable energy. <laughs> now, let's move forward and talk about water conservation strategies in green home design. But we'll get into that in a bit. All right, let's jump into the next topic. Water conservation strategies in green home design. Water is an incredibly precious resource, and conserving it is a key aspect of sustainable living. So how can we design homes to use water more efficiently? Well, there are several strategies we can use. Firstly, there are water efficient appliances and fixtures. Things like low flow shower heads, dual flush toilets, and water efficient dishwashers and washing machines can significantly reduce the amount of water used in a home. It's amazing how much water you can save just by making some simple changes. <laughs> then, there's gray water recycling. This involves taking the wastewater from showers, baths, and washing machines, treating it, and using it for things like flushing toilets or watering gardens. It's a great way to get double use out of the water we use in our homes. Rainwater harvesting is another important water conservation strategy. This is where we collect the rainwater that falls on our roofs store it in a tank, and use it for non-drinking purposes, like water in gardens, or flushing toilets. In some cases, with proper filtration and treatment, rainwater can even be used as drinking water. Oh. And let's not forget about landscaping. By choosing native plants that are adapted to the local climate, we can create beautiful gardens that require minimal watering. Or, we might consider xeriscaping, which is a style of landscaping that eliminates the need for irrigation altogether. It's also worth mentioning that conserving water isn't just good for the environment. It can also save you money. Water efficient appliances and fixtures can reduce your water bills, and in some areas you might even get rebates or incentives for installing them. So, as you can see, there are many ways to conserve water in green home design. It's all about being mindful of how we use water and making the most of the water we have. Now, let's move on to our next topic. Waste management practices in a sustainable home. But we'll dive into that in a bit. All right, let's move on to our next topic, waste management practices in a sustainable home. Now, when we talk about sustainability, we often focus on energy and water but waste is another crucial aspect we can't ignore. So, what can we do about waste? In a green home? Well, a great place to start is with composting. Kitchen scraps like vegetable peelings, coffee grounds, and eggshells can all be composted. This not only reduces the amount of waste going to landfill, but also creates nutrient-rich compost that can be used to feed your garden. It's a win-win situation. Next, we have recycling. Safe. Most of us are already familiar with recycling things like paper, glass, and plastic. But did you know you can also recycle things like batteries, electronics, and even certain type of light bulbs? It's all about knowing what can be recycled and making sure it gets into the right bin. The use of sustainable materials is another important aspect of waste management in a green home. This could mean choosing furniture made from reclaimed wood. Or using recycled glass tiles in a kitchen. It might also mean choosing materials that are durable and long-lasting, so they don't need to be replaced as often. And then, there's the concept of a zero-waste home. 
This involves reducing waste to an absolute minimum by avoiding disposable items, buying in bulk, and making things from scratch. It's a bit of a lifestyle change. But it's definitely achievable, and it can make a huge difference. So, as you can see, waste management in a green home is all about reducing, reusing, and recycling. It's about thinking carefully about what we bring into our homes and what we do with it when we're done. It's a vital part of sustainable living, and it's something we can all contribute to. Now, let's move on to our final topic, the indoor environmental quality in green homes. Right, we'll get to that in a bit. All right, let's move on to our final topic, the indoor environmental quality in green homes. This is a key aspect that sometimes gets overlooked, but it's essential for making a home not just sustainable, but also healthy and comfortable to live in. When we talk about indoor environmental quality, we're talking about things like air quality, temperature, humidity, and light. Natural lighting is a big part of this, a well-designed green home will take advantage of natural light to reduce the need for artificial lighting. This can involve things like placing windows strategically to maximize sunlight, using light shelves or reflective surfaces to distribute light more evenly, or even installing skylights. Natural light doesn't just save energy. It can also make a home feel more open and inviting. Ventilation is another critical factor. Good ventilation helps to maintain indoor air quality by removing pollutants and providing fresh air. This can be achieved through a combination of natural ventilation, like opening windows and mechanical ventilation, like fans or ventilation systems. Also, using plants can help as they naturally purify the air. And then there's the use of non-toxic materials. Many conventional building materials release volatile organic compounds, VLCs, which can have negative effects on health. So in a green home, we use materials that are low in VRCs, are VOC free. This could be anything from paint and adhesives to flooring and furniture. Green homes can also use materials that help to control humidity, like breathable wall materials, or systems that can control humidity levels, like energy recovery ventilators. So as you see, when we talk about green homes, we're not just talking about energy efficiency or sustainability, but we're also talking about creating homes that are healthier, more comfortable, and just better to live in. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the beauty of green home design. It's not just about saving the planet. It's also about improving our own living spaces and our quality of life. It's a win-win situation. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the world of green home design. Remember, every little change counts. So let's all do our part to make our homes a little greener. <laughs> Thanks for listening, and until next time.